Okay, so um, I don't know how to do this, but I guess I'm just gonna talk. Um, so confronting. Um, I'm trying to stare into the camera lens and not freak out because it looks like you're looking at a cyclops. Is there a better way to do this? Let me know. I'm not looking too low. I'm looking at the reflection. Uh, um, anyway. I am wrecked from anxiety, but I thought I'd begin to put myself out there this year in 2020 to start talking about my journey with ADHD and anxiety and depression and PTSD and trauma and bullying and rape and blah 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 because I didn't really have um an Asian girl basically to look at and look up to and I really wish that you know now there is a great community that I know online but I wish that when I was younger in the past that I could have seen the message somewhere from someone that you know would have been even easier for me to relate to and so we've got to start somewhere to make things better. Um, so I got diagnosed for ADHD at the end of 2019 and I was going through with this like weird kind of what am I doing with life and so I got medicated and I tried Ritalin and when I took it my brain went quiet like like I could just do the dishes and it would be peaceful so that's kind of the reason why I cook because that's the only time my brain goes quiet um so then I, re- I got really emotional. I remember I cried because I was, I was like, this is how I could have been living if I got it checked a long time ago. Um, and I beat myself up for that and I got really sad. And I'm still kind of, well, it's February, so I'm still kind of like coming to terms with the, with the fact that, you know, it is what it is. And it's not like a ton of years of my life lost. And I, you know, I can't just be like miserable about all the things I wish I did and oh, I need silence. Like, oh, anyway, the things I wish I did and um, didn't do because I was so all over the place. And I think I think getting diagnosed more than anything helped me begin to research and understand that. Well, you know, my my failure in life didn't come from a place where I was incompetent, which is what I believed, but it came from a place where I didn't know how to manage myself, my expectations, my emotions, and my time, especially. And so, got overwhelmed and didn't get a lot of things done. So like this channel, you know, I'm doing food and music and everything, but I always found it really hard and I got really stressed out and I wanted to you know just quit everything and shut the channel down but you know because I compared myself to the channels that were just like food or just like music or just like vlogging or or something and I was like oh why can't I be like them why can't I just like stick to one fucking thing and do it um but I've been reflecting because January is my trial month and I kind of just let myself kind of go like everywhere in January. Um, and I I had a big thing and you know, I come from a background of tech and design and you know, UI UX experience design, graphic design. And I've been trying to always incorporate my creativity slash art from art school or like soul into my my projects by like pushing the boundaries and being more like eccentric with solutions and everything and i i figured that if i'm spending so many years trying to put art into my work and then feeling unfulfilled because you know clients have the briefs and their goals and their direction and you can't really fuck with a brand or a business like that because it's their brand and you don't want to you know just your art over it um and, and I spent so many years kind of just trying to do it this way and I was like 
okay, how, what, then, then what the fuck, right? And then feeling kind of like, oh my god, I haven't fucking uploaded shit on YouTube. Um, watching people just like go like, shoo, pass me by and, you know, like good for them. But also like, why the fuck can't I do that? Because, because I, I, I should be able to because I'm a human and, you know, basically I should be able to keep the fuck up. Why am I not keeping up? I, I did well in school. I did, I, I, I do well on projects when I do the project when I'm interested in the project, which is another, like, you know, but, but I was, I was always beating myself up for being jack of all trades, master of none. And the, the things I wanted to do, I was really interested in for a really short while and I could never, with following through, I have a big problem with keeping up all the damn time. And since I've started trying to figure out my medication, it's been a wild ride. So there are days where I can get shit done and I like, you know, you know, sometimes even things like remembering to floss is hard for me and it sucks to try to figure out this what's right for me at the moment. Um, and then trying to be like, okay, why can't I fit into this mold? Why can't, why, why can't I fit into that, that mold? And then I, I realized I was doing to myself what people were doing to me when I was young, which is like fit in or you won't be like. Uh, fit in because you're too loud. Fit in because you are distractible and you need to shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down. And I fought so hard against that, and I came out the other side like, like minced meat, right? But now, like, you know, I'm a lion's head meatball. You know, when it comes to surviving bullying and and, and abuse, and but then I'm like, but I'm fucking doing it to myself now on the internet, which is basically me being in the giant echo chamber, just being like, oh, you're not conforming to what you see on the internet, so you should, you should, you should just not do it because you're not, you're not keeping up, you're not like the rest of them. But, no, like I don't, like I don't want to do that to myself, right? And I don't want to not do things that I want to do because I'm scared because that's just that's just something I don't want to die with and I, I don't want to not share my story you know I, I, I can't just share it on Facebook you know I have my little groups and, and it's wholesome and it's hearty and we, we share our experiences and we're really stronger together but then like what is stopping me from taking it to the next level by putting myself out there right and that's youtube basically and i guess i'm just talking a lot and i don't know if anyone's gonna watch this but it's cathartic um my hands are clammy because i've never said these words out loud and um Let me get my shit together. Anyway, I've never said these words out loud and I've only typed them and, and every time I've typed them, I found it easier to type and I found myself helping people I never thought I'd reach with my experiences and my stories and, and my, like how, my coping advice, I guess. But, so, um, TLDR, I'm going to start putting myself out on the interwebs like this more often, just kind of just shooting the shit, but not really. You know, I'm still kind of really awkward at this shit. It, I'm very aware that I say all these like self-deprecating things and beat myself up for not being a certain way but if I ask myself what the fuck is that certain way I don't really know right if it means draw my eyeliner more straight like I, I mean as a girl if you're a girl watching this you know it's a gamble every no matter how much you practice and if I'm gonna nitpick about this shit I'm never gonna get out there um and 
I'm never going to reach this random girl somewhere who's 12, who is going through what she thinks is the love of her life and getting choke slammed and beaten up and thinking, oh, I've, I've seen that at home, but my mom deserved it because she was being really mean to my dad. And so I guess sometimes if you are in the wrong, then maybe you deserve to get hit, which is not fucking true. So like, like I need, well, I, I don't need to, but I, I feel the need to, to share this story and also share the story where I've talked to my parents about this stuff and, and it's been uncomfortable and, and like, you know, it's just uncomfortable to talk to any parent about their mistakes in the past because of who they were as people and, and like sometimes mistakes are uncomfortable talking about things like like <laughs> abuse in the family i don't <laughs> like does slapping count does you know does verbal abuse count in a society where it is normal to hit your children where i come from and i maybe it was like maybe it was then but not now, like not where I want to grow into, where I want my next generation to be. I, I don't want to hit them. I want them to be free to make their choices in life on what they want to do. We need less doctors. We have a lot of doctors and lawyers. Like we're good, right? We gotta get get with the weird shit, you know? I mean, yes, you know, like more, more, more of that. Um, And I'm not gonna hit you I'm not going to make you sit on a step. And, you know, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do, but I know exactly what I'm not going to do. And actively, I work every day to just, like, let this, like, weird chip on my shoulder of my parents go. Like, I'm like you know, there's a point in life when you have to let go of what your mom or dad or family or people have told you that you can or cannot do and you can and cannot be like. And... I will forever, ever, 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 ever probably watch this video back and be like, oh my god. But great, because it means I put it out and and I don't I don't want to die without any like, you know, be able to live a life where I fought for things that I cared about and you know, so so people don't learn. Like, so people don't don't go through what I went through. Or if they are going through what I, I'm, I went through, like, they are able to get out faster. Because, like, in hindsight, it's 2020, you know? But when you're in it, it's scary. And, and I I just really wish I, I saw things um, on, like, Netflix or something back in the day. There's no such thing. But, you know, I, a, a lot of things I watch now are already setting the stage for healthier relationships, healthier lives, healthier loves. Um, and, and, you know, I, I want to contribute to this discussion in whatever tiny ass way I can, because, because I think everyone matters and, you know, I got to do something. So, um, I'm going to stop beating myself up for this channel being like, what is it? Because to be honest, I don't know what I am. And I've decided to pursue art full time this year, which is confronting and scary and um, makes me nauseous. Everything makes me nauseous. I have anxiety and acid reflux and it's horrible. Oh my god, horrible. Um, I went off there, sorry. Um, I, 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 I've decided to go full time art and fighting for this, fighting for ADHD, fighting for survivors. Um, fighting for fighters, basically, and and also just gunning it, just like like the foot pedal, the metal, you know, like and just trying to survive twenty twenty because that's how how I've kind of felt my whole life, but working on getting medicated and treated properly so I can survive it better. And, and collaborating with people and reaching out to people because like for many years, I've been so scared of connecting with anyone basically because I've been 
hurt so much. But I read this quote, I think on Tumblr or something, to not let the blood from the wounds of your past drip on the people in your present, which, you know, is probably what I've been fucking doing because not everyone is out to to hurt you and and to to just just take away that whole experience or that whole like the joy of connecting with amazing people let's let's talk let's connect let's build something let's do something together because we are better when we're a tribe and yeah so I'm just I'm just a girl from Singapore in Sweden wondering why it's not snowing in Gothenburg in my little room with the curtain closed and a little light with a tissue on it because it was too bright. I don't know how this works, right? Um, but I'll figure it out. And my little mic and my shit at the back. Um, but yeah, everybody's got to start somewhere and I'm sick of apologizing and beating myself up for shit, so... I hope I upload at least once a week and I can chart my journey and progress and maybe even have other people come up to talk about stuff or just put up what I'm working on, whether it's art or music and just like, and just let it be, just do my shit, you know? And I guess this is a way of being accountable for it and this is also a way of reaching and being vulnerable. Is there a way to, how, okay, how do you look at yourself without looking at yourself? Because I know at some point you have to be confident enough to just look into the camera lens, which I'm doing right now, but it's so hard. Touch me. Touch me. At some point I will not give a fuck and that will be great. Yo, thank you for listening to my long ass rant. I'm gonna try not to edit this too much. I think like I might cut off stuff if I like repeated stuff. And you know, I that's that's it. I'm just gonna schlep myself on and just and see where it goes. Ah, okay, fuck, okay, okay, bye.